So GPS cancer is the um, belief that in order for us to know what drug to give, because the drug acts at the protein level, is to really understand everything about the cell at the protein level. So, you know, you say it's not the gene stupid, it's the protein. <laughs> I really mean that, it's not the gene stupid, it's the protein, because it's the protein that we're treating with regard to drugs. So I think there's a little bit of, um, a little bit of arrogance when we actually came in 2003 and said we've got the human genome, now cancel N as we know it. I think it was statements made by people who really didn't treat patients, who understand that we have drugs on the other end, but it's not treating the gene necessarily, it's treating the protein. So therefore a panel that just measures the gene without measuring the protein downstream is very dangerous because you're guessing. So what we showed at uh, ASCO last year was taking 3,780 patients in which we did across 5,000 uh, uh, patient tumor samples, 10,000 samples, and we measured the DNA and the RNA, and we compared that to a 328 gene panel. What was really frightening, we found that in 69% of instances, where the gene panel says it, there was a positive actional call, downstream there was no protein, meaning the RNA was either low or normal, no overexpression. That means in 69% of actionable calls, there's nothing to take action against. And then therefore you would order a drug that would have really no chance of working. More frighteningly, in 26% of cases, we found in the 328 gene panel normal mutation, meaning no mutation. But downstream, the RNA was hugely overexpressed, which means you could give a drug for a negative call, so which means you have to measure both DNA and RNA at the same time. You should measure the entire genome so you can actually look at things called translocation. You should look at the things so you can measure what you call fusion proteins. And you then should have the ability to actually measure this in a quantitative way because you could take those mutated protein pathways and proteins and measure them through a thing called mass spectroscopy. And know from a cutoff level whether you can use taxol, gemcitabine, cisplatin, carboplatin, herceptin, alpha folate receptors, and now for the first time we have this quantitative way of knowing at the proteomic level. So in summary, we've now launched the clinician into the era of what I call clinical proteomics. We've launched the era of clinical pro genomic proteomics, however you want to name it. We've launched this era where we can monitor the patient in a quantum way over time with multiple biopsies, and I call that quantum oncotherapeutics. So, GPS is this test, and I'm so excited that Independence Blue Cross in, Flo in, in, in Philadelphia is covering this test. So any patient that's el el eligible for immunotherapy is covered. Uh, triple negative breast cancer is covered, rare diseases is covered, patients with uh, pediatric cancers are covered. So this is a very exciting moment in time, and you know, Dan Hilferty, the CEO of Independence, took the brave step. Uh, so now we're working with the rest of the Blues uh, to cover this across this nation.